that, er, that there's a, a path adder near the village somewhere. So we are heading there now and we will see what's going on there. So we just came to the location where puff adder should be. So let's see. So it's a big... They probably go to one, yeah. one system. There are more holes. holes, but it can be connected and it can be yes. very deep. It can be deep, that's true. Uh -huh. It goes to, to the left. Uh -huh. oh. There's a bigger hole there. Wow, that's it a goes there. So yeah, it, it leads the there the direction. Yeah. Leads that direction. We are not sure if there's something inside or not. Let's, let's dig more and we'll see. Okay. Oh, yes. I see the head. There's the head. Stand Yeah, it's here. It's hissing. Big puffer and it's a beautiful coloration. It's a beautiful coloration. Careful. Yeah, wow. That's a big one. A big one. It's a nice one. Hook. I need the second. Hook, where's the hook? I need another hook. Jo, to je veliká pafina, pozor. This is a big puffy. Okay, good deal. She's smelling up the back, she's not going inside. But hopefully she'll go there. Come on. Yes. Yes. Slowly, 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 slowly. Yeah, she's there. Okay. Yes. Good job, guys. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you so much. Good, good. 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 A huge puffy is inside the bag now and we are going to work on it here a little bit. Can I bring this? Yeah, we put everything. You ready? Position. Okay, thank you so much. I can focus on the snake. Focus on the snake. Thank you. Si vezmeš, že prostě kopeš a ze země vytáhneš tohle sto. So we were digging into several holes and we were basically standing above the puff feather and Fred had a very good idea to check the hole which was just under us and a huge puff feather is just under us. It's an amazing snake 
Uh, it has a little bit reddish color, which is typical for Tsavo environment. So we are very much excited about filming this guy. It will be beautiful from drone, I think. Yeah, yeah. That's so sick. We had to repair it everything here because uh, it's it's more like a fence for animals. There can be there can be cows here or goats, so they can can't go through these acacia bushes. That's why we have to put it back. So these people are very happy to remove the snake from this area. Because usually they come here to the crops and also goats and cows are coming through this way. This is the real deal. This is the real and the venom is not nice, you know, yeah. the venom, venom is bad. Is very you don't want to be bitten by this. You, you can lose the finger, you can lose your whole arm. Is or you can neuro? die, of course. Uh, no, it's Saito. Saito. Oh. So it damages the tissue, terrible pain, terrible swelling. Yeah, and you can lose your hand so, yes. or finger probably. Yeah. Or like. Amputation. Yeah, amputation. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's bring this amazing snake to the car. So thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Have a nice evening. Bye bye. So we try to film Puffy, Puff Edder, which we which we found uh, before half an hour. We had to dig it from the hole. It was not easy, but locals were very happy that we removed it from from that area. And now we would like to show that these these very dangerous puff adders can come close to human settlements and you can see how invisible it is there. I know that um, snakes seem to be a little bit scary for many people and some of them can be uh, very dangerous but it's good to know um, which snakes are dangerous which snakes are not dangerous and also when you start to see them from closer distance and when you um, know how to correctly approach them uh, then you start to appreciate them uh, much more so uh, as you can see uh, our work, we are using special tools like snake hook which is this one or snake tongs <laughs> This is completely not dangerous snake and most of the snakes which you have here are like this. No, don't worry, I'm holding it. But you see, it's a very active, fast animal because they use their eyesight to catch lizards. And you see lizards are extremely better to touch it from the other side. Yeah, you start yeah. from the tail. Yes. yes. Just imagine touching a wild animal, I don't know, a lion. Would you be touching it by the tail or by the head? So, so start also with the snake with the tail. Because any animal, if you try to touch his head, it will be nervous. Mm -hmm. yes. Also, you see the scales. The scales are very nice and smooth. Wow. People usually think that it's that, like sticky, that are sticky or but they not are not nice, but it's not true. The it's scales, smooth the scales and are made of the same material than our nails. Okay. All of the organs which are inside the snake are, you know, very long because the body is very long. They are so, elongated. So the, the lungs are elongated, go like this. Most snakes have only one lung which is functional because there is no space for right lung and left lung. So only one is long and functional. Usually the, the um, left one uh, is, small. is small. Do you know why? Why, 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 why the left, left one? one would be small and the right one would be long? What, what, what's on, what's the, left on the left side? side of your body? Important organ. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah, tell it. 
Heart, heart yeah, exactly. heart is on the left side. So heart is here. Yeah. So, so there is no space. If it's so small, there's no space for the lung. Mm. So the other lung goes goes. Uh, so goes the long. left one is very small yes. because the heart is there. Also, I can show you here. Um, this small thing which you see here, it's called the cloaca, here. So it's it's like the the uh, final place for poo poo for the snake and also for reproductive organs. And everything after this small hole, it's tail holding the tail. That's it. <laughs> but that's it. Good, good, good. Oh yeah. So. So just to show you, so just imagine you have no legs. Mm. How would you move? The the the, the movement which snakes are moving yeah. is created by the muscles and which which are all around the body. A feather is a very fat fat snake, and it's dangerous. It can get uh, well camouflaged in the in the grass. Here you see. Um, on the head, mm -hmm. the snake, you can see it's not doing any hoot. It's not trying to protect itself. It's Only trying to escape. Just, it's just trying to escape. The snake, the cobras are famous for being, you know, standing up, but the snake is not doing it at all now. You can, you can easily uh, prepare a wooden stick in an Y shape, which will help the snake to be like this. It's, the snake is basically holding on the tongs. <laughs> it's a beautiful snake, right? And it's a really beautiful yeah. snake, one of the most beautiful cobras in the world. So, but it's usually easy to say if it's a juvenile or adult. This but, one but, is adult. But after that, this one is definitely adult. But after that, it's quite unclear how old exactly is the snake. So, Michael is for the first time in Africa, and it's his second cobra in his life. But you see, with the proper handling, proper training, he's comfortably able to handle the snake. So it's good to have some preparation, some knowledge, and then the work with snakes is much easier. So it's just a, a matter of guiding the snake to see the hole, and let's see if, if she comes in. But you see, it's no drama like you see in many documentaries. And, and you see, the snake totally naturally goes into the back. Yeah. And, it. and it took like 30 seconds. Yeah, so once again, thank you very much for your cooperation, for uh, the way you treated the snakes and I hope you overcame the fear of snakes. Please pass the information to other people. And uh, also, we are staying until tomorrow, so if you see any snake, please call us. We will be happy to come and try to catch it and film it so I we can it. educate Fred. also <laughs> other people around the world. You just call Fred. Fred, give your number to now everyone. Take my number. Call me. Everybody, take I Fred's I number. Change. Just call me. I'll come on. I'll and you. I'll we will come. We decided to give water. Many people uh, don't know that snakes also drink. That they really can drink water like this.
very much. You helped us a lot. And maybe see you next time. <laughs> Take care and live nicely here. That was beautiful experience. Thank you and see you later, alligator. Go and reproduce. Yeah, go and reproduce. <laughs> and we want more spitting cobras like next you. Time. Puffy is out. She has a very nice talk. She is ready for filming session. Mm -hmm. It will be probably just quite short filming session because the darkness is coming. Okay, I don't be scared. I am scared too. Oh, you told me I used to Yeah. Papa scared. in check. No, no. Hmm? Akuna check, Akuna. Akuna check, Buffeter. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have Buffeters in check. I uh, I'm quite happy have... that we don't have them at home. So, Puffy from the drone. Susanna is very strong. But she's it's better to have two two hoops. Yeah. Hezky pěkně, dobrá práce, hezky. The drone battery is almost gone. But we are still trying to get some footage because the puffy is crawling nicely. We just heard a uh, elephant somewhere quite close. So we have to back puffy uh, quite quickly and move from this place because uh, it's getting dark now. For the last time we are going to take this mama puffeder into the back and we will release her closer to the place where we found her because we don't want her to be confused. She's going there nicely. Man, she angry. knows it's her home. Okay, already. it's good. Yeah, she's there. We are releasing Puffer, but first we would like to give her some water because it can help her to survive in this very very sandy and hot dry. and dry weather. Let's see if she wants to drink something. Yeah. We let her to get some sunshine so she gets some energy. Maybe then later she will drink a bit. She has the option if she wants and then she will probably hide in some of these bushes and spend time there. So okay, she doesn't like to drink water, so that's that's it's great good, because good she's time. probably she's in good condition. yeah she's in good condition. And we'll put her so we'll put her bush. just to the bush and so nobody can see her. She can hide nicely on the nice shady place. Yeah, and she's going now. Oh, Mama Puffy, well, bye bye, Have be happy cool. here. Have a Brand. good, safe life.
And don't and bite people, many. please. <laughs>